So why do things go wrong with templates? I've spoken to some design agencies, so I have some insights onto this one. A lot of design agencies, when they're working on a big rebrand, and we're talking the redesign of the logo, we're talking the reception area, you know, we're talking design of, you know, internal areas as well, not just the logo here. These design houses tend to use software like InDesign, an Adobe product, and they tend to be Mac users because that's what their background is in and they're using those tools because they're design experts. What happens is that they don't have the same version of PowerPoint that our Windows users would have, which is mostly what people are using in corporate. So there's a bit of a disconnect between the level of knowledge they have for their design. And let's be honest, that's what they're experts in. Designing is what they do, and they do it very, very well. But translating their beautiful designs into a usable PowerPoint template is a little bit of a disconnect there. And that's what I'm finding. That's why I see errors in the PowerPoint template because the design houses that are designing these don't have the skills that you need in PowerPoint to create the template. So whilst they're very competent at what they do, which is come up with beautiful designs, the issue is that they're lacking some of the knowledge to be able to put those designs into a PowerPoint template. So PowerPoint for Mac has different functionality to PowerPoint for Windows. That's where the issues start coming into play.